guys, Danger King Random here, back at it again with another banger video. I need to stop saying banger video, it's a garbage intro, let's get into the video. Welcome to Season 2 of Danger Craft. It's an actual realm this time, so there are multiple different people playing on it. In fact, this is the second time I've recorded the intro. The initial time I recorded the intro was when everyone on the server or realm as it's called on console we're all standing around here in the spawn area and talking about well the the realm and um well yeah i accidentally deleted the footage of us all together so i'm sorry about that hopefully i can convince them all to just still crowd around this central point and redo it i put i'm not going to try and do that anyways so that's uh why i'm already in this sort of state in the game. So, with that being said, let's get in to the video. Do you I think the admins actually did a really good job of building this sort of temple area. I mean, look at that. that, that that's just cool. I'd say that's pretty good temple wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, it's obviously since this is in the caves and cliffs update they wanted it to be symbolising that so it goes down to a giant cave which is where the shopping district is for where people build shops. Oh yeah they've got... why did I just look in those? I've never put anything in them. Hmm. So let's get in. Okay so Hey guys, you saw that little intro, we are on an actual realm now, so we are here with other people who can join whenever they like, so there should be some great things happening between parts, I have done a fair bit since that clip uh, at the start as you can tell, too far I found the three diamonds for this in a chest, so that, that was like the first tool I got was a diamond pick. Um. Yeah, so I've kind of set up shop in this small village here, claimed it as my own. Another danger crafter has also claimed it and has built this, I guess. But we are going to build our actual starter base over there. You can see I already, I did already record a section and an attempt at a starter base, but uh, it was garbage, it was too small. And it failed miserably, and I chose an awful spot up there. <coughs> Creeper. So, we are starting it again. And redoing this clip. Just going to pass through the small cemetery. That leads down to the mine. As you can see. Should be using that a fair bit this part if only in a time lapse but I have instead don't know I will grab the resources I've spent up at the top there for my first attempt at a starter base on this world I'll just grab them later on so we should, yeah, okay. Right here, this really strangely well cut bit here is where I thought we could build our starter base. So. just craft some more tools. I need shovel and a better axe. Alright, let's start off by removing some parts here. Right, that 
should be good now. So, my idea for my base. So, the idea for our base. is to build sort of around sort of hobbit holy type inspired thing and I hope that we can make it look good alpha right right yeah I need to have a piece there so how's that look yeah Yeah, it works. Okay. <laughs> so that is that we might add some staircases to shape it a bit more. We're almost definitely going to need to add staircases and stuff to shape, help shape it. But, yeah, so this would be the entrance and we could build in. We could have maybe another little circle sticking out the mountain there. There's like a window for more of it. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a really good starter base. You're not going to want to see me just chopping down trees. So, I'll leave it put a time lapse up right now of me chopping down trees getting resources and building up part of the starter base until I have something more interesting to say or I'll just cut to when I'm building the base and just time lapse me building the base either way there's going to be a time lapse of me building the base in here
Okay, so I've been doing quite a bit of mining. I, every time I do a survival world, I usually build a quarry like this and just sort of dig down in these areas and go into the caves I've found. Mostly just do this for the stone and other such resources, but I've found a few caves down there. I've done a lot of mining, not just here, other places. So I've got more resources back at the base over there. But uh, this is our hall, Mo for the most part, not much. We've got a fair bit of iron few diamonds, lapis, more iron. Uh, mo I have used some a lot of the iron to replace my armour which broke a few, fair few times. I've gone for like five pickaxes, a couple shovels. So uh, I have already spent a lot of what we got. You just, uh, you should have just seen a clip, a speed, a time lapse, open neck. Uh, time lapse of me finishing up the mining session in the large cave towards the bottom of the shaft over there. So that's that. I think I've figured out a way to make them go even quicker than the maximum allowed for the speed with what I used to edit. So that should mean we'll be able to. I will be able to show you me doing my full build sessions of bases as opposed to just this short snippet you saw towards the much earlier part of the video. Also, I was an idiot and deleted the footage of when I first wandered into the world and everyone else and everyone who's on the world was together talking about the world. So, I was an idiot. Got to do that. So I'm going to have to re-record a new intro, but you know. I'll see you guys in a moment.
Hey. So. Well, that was done. So, I've done quite a fair bit of work on the base. <coughs> resulting in this magnificent built structure. So, I'll just give you a tour of what I've done. These I originally wanted to be dark oak, but I think it actually looks good with dark, so I'm not going to try and change them. But this is the wall leading into the base. I have added a waterfall. And of course, here's the base itself. Turning left, we come to the workshop area. I still think this should give you damage if you stand on it. I mean, I'm standing on a spinning blade and I'm not taking damage. Anyways, proceeding, we enter. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this area yet, but you know. The grand staircase, so I'll take it up first. And we have access to the top of the wall to defend our borders against those who would try to invade. Continuing on then. We get to a nice little... It's not really a balcony, but it, it's like a balcony type area. I don't mean to... Pick it up later. Here we come to the bedroom. All my lovely loot and doggos. Somehow I still keep getting the message you cannot rest now there are monsters nearby, but you know. I mean, there shouldn't be any space anywhere in this space up there. Oh, sorry, there. So every time we come down we've got here the trophy area with the first diamond I ever got and a banner from the raid from a raid and these are for the dragon egg, the dragon head and a river skull. So I'm pretty sure those are the only mob heads slash drag eggs that you can actually get in the game. Empty area, no idea what I'm doing with that. If there's an empty area, let me know what you guys want me to do with this and with these little outcrops as well. I feel like I need to put stuff in them. Kitchen, I've obviously not finished as you can <laughs> tell, but it, it's there nevertheless. Let me know what you think of my base in the comments. This is the armory. Well, the armor. Really, anyway. It's where we. Uh, all the armor is kept, not necessarily the weapons. Well, there's one tool on the armor, depending on what it's for. So this represents like my farming gear or and stuff here. It's like the outfit for farming, which is just leather with a hoe. And then we'll have other stuff, nether gear, uh, ocean and stuff. So obviously the nether would obviously be entirely netherite, enchanted. This would have. Well, I'm not sure. Di turtle helmet and I know enchanted neverite armor diamonds. This would be the end, so elytra and other stuff, and you know that sort of thing. And then here would just be leather, chainmail, iron, gold, diamond neverite. And then here would be the main enchanted neverite coming here, and I get auto armored up for the dispensers. Of course, I've not done the redstone in there yet. This will be the storage area, it will expand over in this way more and on the other side we'll have another area like this specifically for dirt because cobblestone and dirt you get an awful lot of those. I think when it comes to the main base, well this is the main base at the minute uh, but it's more like the starter base, I'm not actually sure if I will make a big mega build but if I do there will be a large area under it filled with these areas of this design containing every single block so there'll be areas like this for every single block if we do end up building the main area and then obviously we've got room to expand downwards so this is the base we'll be dealing with for 
a large number of it so it's all the empty airs like this let me know in the comment section below what you think I should do for them it's got some nice views in it I think it's quite a good base and then if we come over here just got a simple little berry farm and we can get a pretty decent view of the base That is going to be it for this part of DangerCraft Season 2. I do hope you've all enjoyed the video. Thank you all oh, so very much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at DangerKingAdamOrlo. Okay, so one word. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye. <laughs>